Oski, what's with the cone pot? What happened? Sit, 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 paw. Good boy. You're such a good boy. We gotta go, bud. We gotta go. Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog and welcome back to another perfect day here in the beautiful state of Utah, Jeep Nation, Gladiator Nation. We got great news, good news, finally amazing news. We're also going house shopping today. Uh, we got a lot to do and we're late. Well, we're not really late, but I like to say that to kind of like heighten the uh, uh uh, Burlacker, I'm just gonna temporarily, just temporarily borrowing the Mustang. Uh, I'm definitely 100% not gonna crash it. There is not gonna be a Mustang crash compilation in today's video, except for, except for right now. I can't even reach the pedals. Nick, I'm sorry. I have to adjust your Mustang seat forward. I probably am gonna forget to readjust it back, and I'm sorry for that, but still going. I'm 5'11", guys. Still going. Okay, now I'm just exaggerating for effect, but we're still going. Okay, my knees are starting to get cramped, but we're good. Keep going. Go. Okay, I can't even feel my ankles anymore. <laughs> That's it. Uh, I'm I'm literally pulling out of the driveway. I don't want to crash. I mean, that would be that would be the most ironic sequence in the vlog ever if I crashed the Mustang after making fun of Nick every single time. Yeah, that, we don't want that. I want to talk about the financial situation of each of my cars, uh, the Gaiar, the Focus RS, the Aventador, and the Gladiator. Real quick, the garage. It's a bit of a mess. We got a junk pile there, 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 right there, as well as like the surrounding perimeter. And I'm sorry for that, but I am excited to announce today's video has been sponsored by Experian. Now, full disclosure, I personally signed up for Experian about two years ago. So they did reach out to me a couple weeks ago, but I've genuinely been using them for the past two years and I love them. Now, before I talk more in depth about Experian, I wanna give you guys my personal credit history. Lamborghini Aventador, I bought this car in November. I paid 240,000 for it. I put down 153, financed the rest. My payments are roughly $1,400 a month. Focus RS, I bought this car last week. Uh, I bought it in cash. The Gallardo, I did finance. I paid it off two years ago and I paid $110,000 for it. The Gladiator, which is off in Michigan, I put down $24,000, financed the rest. My payments are $535 a month. Now, without having a great credit score, buying the Aventador, buying the Gallardo would not have been possible. I mean, I built my YouTube channel off the purchase of this Gallardo by having a great credit score. Experian Boost is one of the quickest, most efficient ways to instantly, that's right, instantly grow your credit score. Guys, like it's sick. Like, let me tell you all about it. It's really, it is really, really cool. Raising your credit score is a very tedious process. It can take months and months and months, yet it'll determine whether you get accepted or rejected for a loan or whether you get access to preferred credit options. You probably have a cell phone bill. You probably have utility bills that you're paying off every single month but you're not getting credit for that, but you should because they're just like every single other bill. Well, now you can and you will with Experian Boost. The average consumer who uses Experian Boost sees their credit raise instantly, not next week, not next month, instantly by an average of 10 points. Like 10 points is huge. Like that can make or break everything. Experian Boost can potentially help you establish or increase your access to credit. It's safe, it's secure, it's 100% free, there is no credit card required. Boost your FICO score instantly for free. Guys, Boost is only gonna be available at experian.com slash stradman or click on the link in the description box below. We need to put the Mustang back in, we need to move the focus, we need to take the Gallardo, we're going house shopping. I'm on empty. My neighbor John is here. Yeah. Johnny boy. Wakey wakey. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to the vlog. Oh, hi. Anything you'd like to tell the viewers? Uh, don't forget to subscribe to Burlacker. Oh, are you kidding? Nick, you paying this guy? You paying John? He needs a little is he, help. Is he giving you a little endorsement deal? <laughs> no, he doesn't have any money. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> We're meeting with a realtor here at Mobetta, so I, I want to take you inside. I want to show you the steak mix, but I have to come across as somewhat of a credible human being. And if I'm oogling and ogling, that didn't make sense. You know what I mean? Yeah, I got I to gotta leave you guys in the Gallardo. So, yeah. It sucks for them. Uh, come to Mobetta's. Well, that's a nice house. That's also a nice house. That's an even nicer house. And our house is, oh, is right there. And that's the nice, jeez. Nice one of that the thing is sick. Dude, that place is money. Seven car garage, but we have some bad news. First Mobetas. I, I can't take you guys in. The realtor is here. It it's owned by somebody, but we're gonna go take it. We're gonna go take a tour. I'll let you know. I'm so I'm sorry. John's sorry. 
it, it just is what it is. Sorry, 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 sorry. The realtor is gone, so now we can take like an outside tour of the house. Obviously, it's not appropriate to film inside. Like someone actually still owns this and lives there. Seven car garage, 3,800 square feet. This place is pretty, pretty, pretty sick. I'm gonna put a link to the listing in the description below. You can go check it out. $699,000, which here in Utah is a pretty fair number for a house of this magnitude. Oh, I don't know what to do. Hmm. So I'm looking, there's a lot of different options. Either A, I could buy a house with the dream garage, I could buy a house without the dream garage and then build an attached garage, or I could just build my own custom house. So we got a bunch more houses to look at here in like the Salt Lake Valley. And then there's a bunch of other places on the other side of the mountains we're gonna go check out. <laughs> Insider information tells me that there is a new Ford GT at this Ford dealership. I'm still out here. I got rejected for my application. I bought a Focus RS and I'm, I'm still repping the brand. So let's see if the car is here. It might not be. And if it isn't, this clip probably isn't going to make the vlog. Ooh, look at that. <laughs> Nick should have picked that up. That's a GT 350R. Poor guy. Bro, I mean the 350 is cool, but the 350R. Nick Burlacker, where are you? What were you thinking? <sighs> He's actually right there. Dude, man, why didn't you get this? Money? Oh, that? that's right, you don't have any money. Someone doesn't pay Just me like rent. John said, he doesn't I pay paid rent. rent. I sent you money today, I paid him rent today. We're headed into the Ford dealer right now. It's probably gonna be pretty quiet in there, so I'm not gonna be like yipping and yapping away, uh, but somewhere there's a new GT, maybe. We have some bad news. We have some really bad news. If there's any Ford execs watching today's video, call me and, and invite me back down and remove the cover. Uh, we're gonna see what we can do. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do some talking. I'm gonna go talk to the GM and see if we can remove the... Yeah, I am. I'm gonna... Dude, never doubt. I'm gonna go talk to the GM. I'm gonna go talk to the GM. If you get that uncovered, lunch is on me next time. No way, really? Done, done, done. Yes, 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 yes. I tried, I tried. I, I, I almost got Mobettas, but they, they can't uncover it. Which is kind of ironic because when Ford announced the GT, one of the things they wanted to do is make sure that their customers showed it, and here I am, and we can't see it. So God bless Lamborghini, uh, and God bless America, and that's pretty much it. Look at the irony. The Ford dealer has a brand new Jeep Gladiator out front instead of a Raptor. Jeep Nation just out here representing. We are going to continue the house shopping, but Oscar. Oski! I missed you, buddy. We finally have some good news regarding the Jeep Gladiator and the Elephant Swap. A month ago, I drove the Gladiator out to Michigan. I dropped it off at America's Most Wanted 4x4 because we are swapping out that sloppy V6 for Mopar's new Elephant. We're talking 1,000 horsepower, 7 liter supercharged V8. Did I mention 1,000 horsepower? I don't think I did. It has 1,000 horsepower. It's going to be more than the Aventador. However, the Elephants have been delayed until September. They were supposed to arrive in May, so shame on you, Mopar. However, however, we have been hooked up. We received the homie hookup of the century. America's Most Wanted 4x4 is hooking us up, guys. I want you guys to go on their Instagram, give them a follow, give them a like, tell them how much you appreciate them, how much I appreciate them, because without them, my Jeep would be sat in a parking lot until September, but it's not. Because starting tomorrow, America's Most Wanted is going to start swapping out that V6 for, wait for it, wait for it, if I could get a drum roll. They're swapping it out for a 707 horsepower Hellcat, temporarily. So here's the plan. I'm gonna fly out to Michigan in two weeks. I'm gonna drive the Gladiator home with a Hellcat. And then in September, I'm gonna drive the Gladiator back to Michigan. We're gonna swap out the Hellcat for the Elephant. So we get to experience 707 horsepower and 1,000 horsepower. America's Most Wanted is hooking us up. Uh, I'm very excited. Oscar's excited. But yeah, we're getting a Hellcat. Stretch. Okay guys, so we are now hopping in the Focus RS. We're gonna go some house shopping somewhere. And I say somewhere because if I end up buying one of these houses, I need it to be somewhere. I already have 9,572 miles on the Focus RS. This house right here is pretty sick. I mean, it is straight from the Hobbit. Like, look at that place. This house is sick. I could totally rock this. It has all this land right here. So I could build like a nine car garage right there because the issue is that you can only fit two cars in there right now and I got four. Also, there's a bunch of land for sale, so maybe I just build. Maybe I buy land and build. I, there's so many options. The style of these houses are so, so cool. Look at that one, it's a castle. So that house right there on the corner is for sale. That house is pretty cool. So that has three car garage, which is nicer than the last one. 
There's also land for sale everywhere though. I'm, I'm really leaning toward buying land and building the house because three car garage just isn't gonna cut it. Whoa, so that is obviously clearly out of the budget. Take a moment and appreciate those chimneys. Those chimneys are sick. Today's video is a mix between houses I might buy and houses I will never buy, and I will never buy that house. This house is grand and fancy at all, but check out that barn. So here's what I'm thinking. I buy a piece of land, I build a barn with an apartment above it, and then someday I build a house next to it, someday. Or I just live in a barn for the rest of my life. Hmm. Chalk it up to houses I'll never afford right there. But look at this barn. So this is kind of what I'm thinking. Basically build a barn like that. I can put maybe eight to 10 cars, so a bit bigger than that. Live in that for a couple years and then build a full size house someday. <laughs> yes. Oh baby. <laughs> Soon we're gonna be spinning flames. So whoa, whoa, hey, whoa, whoa. We are now hopping in the Aventador. We're headed up to Park City to Summit Auto Lab to see Clayton. He's gonna be installing paint protection film here on the front end, and then in seven days after the PPF cures, then we can wrap the front end. Um, so, while we're eating up there, um... oh, oh, oh. the valves were closed. I messed that up, why were the valves closed? We have traffic, which is not good because that gauge right there is climbing very, very quickly. Air condition has been turned off. Windows down. It's 108 degrees. I'm gonna melt. I'm not gonna mess up twice. Valves are open. <laughs> it's a Ferrari Mondial. That thing is sick. You never, ever, ever see Mondials. It's just chilling here in the back lot at Summit Auto Lab. What is this? Are you kidding? Look at that flex. What? My man. It's 2019 now. Though. Didn't want to flex on everyone, but James, you know. Sorry, sorry. Anyways, pizza. Pizza. Jeep. We're getting in the Jeep, we're getting pizza. Devonza's pizza and more. Obviously, we don't really need the more, we just need the pizza. Thank you. We will, we definitely will. Matt's already digging in. Faith is going full sand and Clayton couldn't get anything. He's on a diet. Yeah. Poor guy. It has been officially announced. There's the new C8 Corvette. What do you guys think? My man, Eddie X. Should I buy one? If I do, I'll probably get it black and wrap it purple. Also, check out that 911 Turbo check. Cab. And we're back. I think I might try to get an early allocation to the C8 Corvette. I think it looks sick. It definitely has a lot of Ferrari elements. So I'll put a bunch of pictures right here because I don't know if the phone like really gave it enough justice. I have no idea when deliveries will even happen. It's summer 2019, so maybe like winter 2020? I feel like this is a good opportunity to uh, give a shout out to all the Chevrolet executives watching today's video. I want the new Corvette, it's decided. I want it. I don't know what pricing is gonna be, but I'm estimating maybe $80,000, but I really wanna get an early allocation. So if there's any Chevy executives watching today's video, uh, call me maybe, or text me, or email, whatever. I mean, just find a way to contact me. I don't really care. Um, yeah. The floor's wet. The dirt doesn't fly up in the air. So, there you go. The more you know by Summit Auto Lab. There's a link in the description <laughs> to our oh, channel. Oh, are you kidding me? What? The shout out. What do you think, Sal? Should we give him the shout out? Maybe, maybe? Yeah, we'll give him a shout out. Look at this teamwork right now. <laughs> this is unbelievable. Still coordinated, yeah. We'll be back up here at the lab. We'll be wrapping the front bumper purple, and then I am running this car at the Sun Valley Tour de Force a week from today. Yeah, a week from today. So uh, I'm gonna hopefully hit 200 miles an hour. Never doubt full send. Hopefully I don't have to break this time like I did the last one. <laughs> remember, when, remember when I hit the brake? I don't remember. What you remember said. when I hit the brake? Oh yeah. <gasps> oh, the brake! Don't hit the brake. Also, Never doubt full send. Don't hit the rev limiter either. See ya. <laughs> Are you wearing your fire suit? Have a great day, Faith. I don't even want anything. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I do have my fire suit. Just run in auto. Hey Clayton, bye Faith, bye Matt. We are headed home and then, well that's, we're going to bed. I just wanted to point out the door does not squeak. The new C8 Corvette, 495 horsepower, base MSRP is sub $60,000. I was sure it was gonna be at least 80 grand, which makes me, well, I don't know, that's a lot cheaper than I thought. What do you guys think in the comments below? Should I pre-order the new C8 Corvette? And then also as far as the housing situation, should I build my own house or should I buy a house? I'm kind of leaning toward building. 
Anyways, as always, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, like squad, be sure to smash that like button. But just like that, this vlog is over, and I'm out.